Yes. We all know you as a kid yeah. in the high school thing, but now is this your most mature role, you think? Yeah. Or I you're still so. a kid? I'm still a kid at heart. I think I'll always be. But uh, this is definitely the most mature role that I've done, done yet. And it was, I love the experience. I had a phenomenal time doing it. It was hard. It was really hard. So hard. We had it was every every scene had a gravity and a weight to it that, um, and I couldn't it couldn't improv or uh, or laugh or tell tell any jokes or any, <laughs> any fun stuff. I couldn't sing, man. You had to no be dance. all serious. Yeah. I would break, danced a little bit. Break into song and dance, but nobody would join me. <laughs> you would be alone in that. And how how did you develop this uh, credible relationship? I mean, at the beginning it's very distant, but then it develops throughout the story, which is nice. Mm -hmm. You see it as part of the audience, how it develops. And well, I think so much of that is in, um, you know, Nick's stories. He writes really beautifully. Why, why do you think she, she accepts uh, the abuse? It's kind of abusive, not the ex-husband. Well, fear or...? Yeah, no, I think that she's... I think I think that like so many women, she's trying. She's you know a, sing, a single mom trying to do the best thing she can by her son, and um, and is like we we meet her at a moment where she doesn't really know how to handle this relationship that's falling apart. And through Logan, I think that she is able to stand up for herself, and you know we see the power of true love and acceptance and what that can do. So do you see him as a? In a way, he's a superhero, right? A daily life hero, or he has a yeah. In a way, yeah, he's kind of like a real life, real life. Well, he is a real life hero. Um, you know, not only did he serve in the war and uh, come back, but he still, st still wants to come back, and there's there's still more for Logan to do. Uh, that's part of it, I think what's so intriguing about him. He always does the right thing, and anytime he sees it, somewhere that he can help out, um, it's it, now it is sounding like. A, Mm -hmm. So I have like these uh, three nieces, and they knew I was coming to see the swim, and they drove me crazy. I didn't bring them because I didn't want to pick them up. And now they hate me, and it's all because of you. What have you done to this adolescent girls? Why do you think they're so much into seeing your movies? Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm very grateful for it. You know, it's, um, it's it, well, I think we're just still having fun, you know, and it's, it's been that way since day one. You know, and this is this story is going to be equally powerful in, in maybe a different way uh, for that audience. So, it, it, does it feel <laughs> weird to be like a, an iconic character for a generation that is, you know, out there? You are, even if you don't want to admit it. Don't you think he's become? Sure. <laughs> yeah. well, I'd, I'd never say it, but I think uh, I when you put it that way, I feel pretty pretty <laughs> stoked. Yeah. Pretty well. So. You I did never it. Really thought about that before. You feel uncomfortable? Or? Uh, a little bit, mixed with other good feelings, and uh, I don't know. Most uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You're making no. him blush. Huh? You're making him blush. No, but and um, how satisfied are you with the way your career is going? You started very young. No, what's going on? Uh, no, actually, I di I, di I didn't. I I just got I. Um, went to college and then I went to graduate school That's and I, young. yeah and then I started working after that so I um, I'm incredibly blessed and New so York grateful school, I yeah I went to NY I went yeah. to NYU I feel um, I feel inc I'm incredibly incredibly grateful for the opportunities that I've had and I am so excited to to keep working on on material that inspires me did you believe in your character very much so. I really, I, I, you know, I, I, I loved Beth, and I, I loved her relationship with Logan, mm -hmm. and I loved working with Zach and Scott, and um, it, it was pretty. The incredible. kid was a, was great. No, it was so. Yeah, he was yeah. amazing. He was amazing, and really, what you saw on screen was kind of who he was. He's just a, a funny, wonderful, normal kid, Riley. It was great. He wasn't in, he wasn't into the actor, uh, you know, shtick. He wasn't like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm an actor or anything like that. He was just like, no. dude, let's have fun. Yeah. I was like, that's how I want to be always. Always. That's how I, was I just want to play tag, swing on a tire swing. Yeah. That's all. Do you want a fake fight? <laughs> Do you want a fake fight? I'm going to fake fight you right now. <laughs> yeah.
It was fun. <laughs> You're a good fake fighter. Yeah, we, he wants to be he a stuntman now. Fa- oh, really? Remember, I think really? He, probably... he was like, dude, I want to do stunts. Oh, yeah, he was flipping over the couch. Yeah, yeah. You were doing that with him. I would think I was in- encouraging. Yeah. And uh, do you care about box office? Oh, my God, I want to make all this money. <laughs> The cashier. Absolutely. <laughs> I, th- I, think, I think the reason I do is because it makes everyone that, that works on the movie with you incredibly, incredibly happy. Mm. Um, you know, I'd, I'd be selfish if I, if I thought, you know, didn't, didn't care about it. Um, yeah. At the same time, you know, I don't, you, can't, you can't overly be invested in that, uh, in that idea. I, you just, you hope, you know, whatever higher power is watching over us tells a lot of people to go see the movie. Go see, go see this movie. It's very really good, by the way. It comes out on the 20th. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, don't miss it. You'll regret it forever. Uh, do you think that... Uh, <laughs> I second that. <laughs> I'd say, I'd, yes. Let me ask you. For many people, there are all <laughs> these huge, like, you know, blockbuster films on 3D and mm-hmm. all that. Yeah. Uh, but there's room for love stories like this, right? In oh, I hope so. I, hope I so. think so. I, I think for sure. I think that, you know, I, these are the kind of movies that I, I kind of love to go see. And um, they're kind of the movies that touch you on a, on, a, on, a deeper, on a deeper level. Not that those other movies don't, but yeah, it's, a it's, different. A different, it's a different form of escape. It's neat, man. It's like, it's like films used to be. It's like the great movies used to be. The ones it's that like, I, I really like, mm-hmm. the 70s and the 80s. Yeah, it's, yeah like, it's a throwback, I think, a movie like this. It's simple and it's, a, it's about people.